All parties in the matter, Byrne versus Powell. Step forward. Paul Byrne is suing his ex-girlfriend, Kelly Powell, for an unpaid loan to avoid eviction. Mr. Byrne, what I gather from your complaint is that you and the defendant knew each other from school years ago. You reconnected on a dating website. Correct. When was it that you reconnected? Um, I believe the initial was probably the summer of 2016, I think. When did you and the defendant start dating? Uh, it would have been the next summer of 2017. I believe it was June. And when did she tell you she was in financial trouble? That would have been September of 2017. When you started to date in June, was it an exclusive relationship, or were you dating other people? I'll start with you. Were you dating other people? Um, it wasn't ever made exclusive. So you were dating other people? Yes. And, Ms. Powell, when you started to date Mr. Byrne, you told him it was not exclusive, that you were dating other people? I don't think we ever got to a point where it was ever that conversation came up. Our dating, per se, was very on and off. Explain that to me. You started we, dating in June, he said, of 2017. We started hanging out probably a little bit before that, um, and then we'd went on a couple dates, but Paul would just kind of go ghost. I, I just wouldn't hear from him. I wouldn't, no text messages, no nothing. Um, and then he'd show up, you know, he'd text me a day or two, and we'd talk about, um, you know, why he wasn't answering text messages, and I'd give him another shot, and then um, we'd make plans for something. We had made plans to go to a local festival at, at home, and... Month. The month of the local festival. Probably like middle to end of June. It's the okay. Greek Fest. Okay. So, um, in June. so we had made plans to go um, for probably a few days prior. And the day before, everything was kosher. And the day of Greek Fest, which was a Friday, didn't hear a single word from him. Um, we were supposed to meet up at my friend Tiffany's house. Okay, so that was June. What happened in July? The same stuff kind of kept happening. I would, we would talk for a few days, and then I wouldn't hear from him for a week. Okay, and August? Same situation. Same. And then we kind of just stopped. We're like, we're like, this is just isn't working. We're just going to be friends. Okay. Friends. So that was friends in August. Mm -hmm. Well, after you became friends, he had to know that you needed money. Mm -hmm. So you had to tell him you needed money. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Is not an answer. Yes. I'd like you to tell me when that conversation took place. I came home, and I had an eviction notice taped to my front door, and I had sent a Snapchat to a handful of my friends. It was a picture of the front of the eviction notice, and it said something along the lines of, if things couldn't get any worse. So what happened? So you sent, among other people, you sent that copy of the eviction notice to the plaintiff. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, is not an answer. Yes. And then what happened? He responded the next day just saying that um, that kind of sucked, and if, he needed, if I needed any help, that he... If what? Let's go slowly. <laughs> he responded the next day and said... That if I needed help, that he would be more than happy to help me. And you said... Not even really for sure. I didn't take it. I didn't want it at the time. I was going to contact some local churches and see if I could find help. So you said to him, I don't want it. Yes. And then? We went golfing about a Who few days. Who went golfing? Pa Paul and I. <laughs> 